there YouTube, I'm Tiffany. Welcome to another card art tutorial. Today, we're gonna to be making a Father's Day card. The supplies that you will be needing are watercolor paper and three pieces of cardstock made of 110 pounds so that it's nice and thick. You need to cut the papers down to five by seven. Other supplies that you will be needing are watercolors. I'm using the Tropical Set from Prima and two watercolor brushes. I'm using the silver black velvet in size 10 and 2. You also be needing the Pentel pocket brush that's waterproof and you need the washi tape to tape down your watercolors. To make the puzzle card you'll need a puzzle die. I'm using Gina Marie's. I also like the birds from the Hero Art stamp set. For sentiments I'll be using Happy Father's Day from scrapbook.com as well as My Favorite Things You Are Loved A Lot and also from Gina Kay's Wishing You An Awesome Day. You can use whatever sentiment you want. To stamp down our sentiments, I'm using the VersaFine ink and for embossing, VersaMark embossing powder from Brutus Monroe and anti-static powder. To glue down everything, you'll need glue. I'm using Gina K Connect. Okay, now let's get started. First, we'll need washi tape to tape down the watercolor paper. I'm taping it down directly onto my glass mat from Tim Holtz. I love using this mat because it's easy cleanup and I don't have to worry about staining. First I'll be pre-wetting my paper about three quarters down the way. Using the blue color I'll be painting in the sky. Now I'm adding in the orange yellow color for the horizon. Watercolors dry lightly, so you'll be needing to add a second layer to darken it even more. Now I'm using tissue paper to remove some of the watercolor to create clouds. You can only do this when the watercolor is still wet. Now I'm pre-wetting part of the bottom of the paper so that I can paint in the ocean. I'm using tissue paper again, this time to lift off some of the watercolor to create waves. Next, using my smaller brush, I'll be painting in the horizon using a deep dark blue color. Using my pre-wet larger brush, I'm smudging in the horizon so that it doesn't look so harsh. Now using my smaller brush, I'm painting in some waves. Switch 
switching off to my larger brush, I am painting in the sand using an ochre color. Now I'm pre-wetting the middle part of the ocean so that I can lift up the watercolor to create a ray of sunlight. Using the bright orange color, I'm painting in the sun ray over the ocean. Now I'm painting in the sun using a bright orange color. Now you don't have to do this, but I like using Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White to create some more waves in the ocean. To create more depth, I'm adding in more value into the ocean by using a darker blue. As I said earlier, watercolor dries light, so I'm adding in a second layer of sand to darken it even more. Now I'm pre-wetting the horizon so that I can add in a shade of red to darken it up even more. Now that the painting is done, it's time to remove the washi tape. Next, I'll be using my Pentel Pocket Brush Marker to draw in the palm tree. Okay, so now it's time for some stamping. I like to stamp in the birds from the Hero Arts stamp set using my VersaFine ink. Now it's time to cut up the painting using my puzzle die. I'm running it through my Spellbinder Platinum die cut machine a couple of times to get a solid cut. Next, I'll be cutting up the three remaining pieces of cardstock paper. My mat has measurements on it, so I can use it to center the die and run it through my die cutting machine. The reason why we're doing this is to build up the thickness of the puzzle pieces, that way it sticks together. I'll also have to cut up another frame for the puzzle. The first frame that was from the painting was not usable. Now I'm gluing all the pieces of puzzles together.
sure if you could see it earlier, but I had a secret helper, my daughter who loves to do puzzles. As you can see here, I'm trimming the inside of the frame. That way I can widen it up so that the puzzle pieces fit better. I made a 5x7 card base and will be stamping the front of the card base with my sentiment. I am using my favorite things you are loved a lot as a secret message behind my puzzle. Now I'm using my painting to line it up so that I can center the sentiment before I stamp. I'm using my VersaFine ink for a dark and crisp stamp. I decided to use a blue cardstock to stamp the inside message of my card rather than directly on the card base. I'm using Gina K's Wishing You an Awesome Day sentiment and I'll be stamping it out using VersaFine ink. Next I'll be stamping out my Happy Father's Day sentiment using a small piece of blue cardstock. Will be embossing this image so first I will apply my anti-static powder to prevent anything else from sticking after that I will stamp out the sentiment using my Versamark this creates a sticky surface for my embossing powder to stick on after that I will be heat setting the embossing powder to create an embossed sentiment To create an embossed image, I'm using my heat gun to set the embossing powder. This is what really got me into card making. When I first saw this, I had to try it out for myself and this got me hooked into card making. Now I'm just trimming it down to size using my scissors and my paper trimmer. Now I'm cutting V's at the ends of the sentiment strip to make it look like a ribbon. Now I'll be gluing on everything that includes the frame to the card base using glue tape as well as the sentiment strip and the inside sentiment that I stamped out on the blue cardstock.
Here is my completed puzzle card. This one's for my husband. I think he's going to be thrilled to receive this because he loves puzzles. This card was quite challenging, but a lot of fun to make. I hope you were inspired today to make your own puzzle card for your loved one. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, have a super duper, tutastic day.